Hey guys, Sammy here, playing some League of Legends. I'm playing as Annie, going mid. Annie's my favourite champion if you haven't worked out by now. Quite like blasting down enemies from full health to nothing. So I've got this video sped up to four times speed so I can show you the whole game. Had a bit of feedback that that's what people wanted. So tell me what you think. Let me know in the comments if it's, if it's good or if I should just keep it normal speed. I do slow it down to normal speed when there's a bit of action going on or I get a kill. A little bit of spoiler alert for you there. So I'm versing Jace in the mid. Don't really see Jace in the mid too often. In fact, this is the first time I've played him in the mid. So I'm a bit cautious at first. Just work him out. See what he's going to do. Give him a little bit of harass. See, it, see if he'll uh, react. You'll see up here that uh, Zed disconnects from our team. So we're down to four players for the rest of the game. But it's alright. We've got the Easter Bunny on the team. And when you have the Easter Bunny, things always go your way. I'm of course talking about Teemo. Teemo's got a little skin there, the Easter Bunny skin. Probably my favourite skin. That one and Sony's arcade skin. I think it's pretty cool. I give him a little bit of harass here. And he reacts big time. He comes after me. I hit him with a smite. I hit him with a Q there. But luckily for me, the smite was good enough. I got a kill in the first five minutes. Doesn't happen often. I try to take advantage of it, get a bit too keen. Go for the tower and pay the price. Down two health potions to no exchange. But it's alright, we're still out there. We're still battling. And we're a level above Jace at the moment. We've got Tibbet's done already here. Try it on him, but I don't get the kill, so I'm going to fall back and get blue. Good idea to get blue with Tibbet's early on. It really helps with your farming, and it will last longer than Tibbet's, so. Just do it. Just do it. you got to do it. But anyway, I, I like to start. My starting item is a Doran Green and a couple of health potions. I've experimented with a few other things. I tried the uh, boots of speed, health potions, and mana potions. But I found it didn't work for me as well as the Doran Green, so I've gone back to it. Jace has a go at me here. Luckily for me, I've got Tibbers built up. And Tibbers here will go finish him off. I'm not sure why he tried to turn around here. Just run, Jace, just run. You didn't need that. So here I am. First visit back to the store, 10 minutes in. Start to build my death cap. Some people will go for the Rod of Ages first, but I like the death cap. Gives me farm quicker. I also blast down the enemies a lot, a lot better than the Rod of Ages. The top's been having a bit of a hard time here. So I'm going to go up and give him a hand. Clockman's been getting all the kills, so I'm going to target him first. Blast him down pretty quickly. Fior is going to chase me. Tibbers is going to give me a hand here. Get my spells cool down. Oh, I get the double kill. Four for O. Doing pretty well. Double check the blue's not there. Finish off my sorcerer shoes. And keep building my death cap. Away we go again. So we're going to go back up top. I'm going to and take the away from him. I can't believe he's coming in here to help me with the tower with that low health, but, but it pays off for us. He's still not going back though. Ah, oh, there we go. Back to the mid. A bit more back and forth with Jace. I'm about to go top here, but I noticed that the two top came mid, so I'm just dancing around waiting for them. Sure enough, here comes Clockman. He decides to go bottom, I give them a warning. Probably should go give them a hand. Come on. There we go. I've got a stun built up. And a Tibbers. Try getting them both in one stun. There we go. The Easter Bunny finishes off one for me. I'll get clock, man. Always stays fun getting the clock. We'll push up bottom here too. 
head back towards the mid. Crossman gave me blue too, which is going to help me farm some more. A bit more of a battle going on down down the bottom, so I'm going to come help tonight. Finish off home there. Jace comes back in. Clockman's going out, so we'll probably take him out first. His ultimate saved him though. So we've got a bit of battle going on here. I probably should have bailed. I missed Tibbers. I paid the price there for hanging around. Six, six for one. Probably feeling a bit too, too invincible there. Should have ran. Garrett's only just going to get away. He runs all the way back to base. <laughs> there he goes. So the clock man's hung around. The ether eggs in the bushes are going to give me a, a bit of a hand here. One cube's enough to get rid of them. Thank you, Easter Bunny. Keep pushing up bottom here. Garrett finishes the flash for us. Probably still there. And the clock man just comes running in. I'm not sure what he's doing. Surely he did not mean to do that. So we get the ace. We keep pushing up bottom here. Look at Tibbers go. Gotta love Tibbers. So I've noticed here that the mid tower's under a bit of pressure from all the minions, so I'm gonna go clean them up. I hate losing a tower to minions. So we'll do a bit of dual pushing here. So I noticed here that the Easter Bunny's in a bit of trouble, so I'm gonna go try to save him. You can't have the Easter Bunny dying, and oh no! Too late. So I can get some revenge on Jake here. And they pretty much quit from here. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell me if you liked it. And I'll see you again next game. Victory. GG.